defiling the Muppets. Only Miss Piggy's getting defiled and she's asking for it if you see what she wears. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you are given the opportunity to create and direct a feature film. The studio offers you a huge budget, provides you with top-notch writing and technical staff, and allows you to cast whomever you desire in the lead roles. There are essentially no limitations on what this movie can be, except for two. The movie you make has to fulfill the following two criteria. One, it has to be extremely edgy and transgressive. You need to confront taboo social issues. You need to shock people. Ideally, the film will address ideas that have never been tackled by mainstream filmmakers. In fact, if the movie is not the most controversial film of the year, the studio will probably not release it. However, it has to get a PG rating. It cannot be R or even PG-13. Do you know what those ratings mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not saying that because I think you're stupid. It's because you're in the UK. Yeah, no, we, have, we do have a different rating system. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there, may be, there may be limited profanity, minor depictions of violence, and fleeting nudity, but nothing that would prompt the ratings board to go beyond the PG classification. What is the premise and plot of your hypothetical movie? I, I think it would be really funny and disturbing to do the Muppets go to Billionaire Island. <laughs> and they get it on the plane. Be. They get on the plane with Bill Clinton and Bill Gates. And then they go flying to a uh, Billionaire Island. And it's like this really nice theme park. And it's got, yeah. <laughs> but how would you make that PG? Miss Piggy's already on the island. <laughs> wow. Defiling the Muppets. <laughs> Only Miss Piggy's getting defiled and she's asking for it if you see what she wears. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> she was, I mean, what was she doing hanging out with all those guys? Yeah, especially that fucking Kermit. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't trust the Swedish chef either. <laughs> 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 Be He's just waiting to get a piece of that ham. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A beak is quite obviously a sex offender. <laughs> oh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's why he can't speak, actually. The father of one of his former victims cut out his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a French tickler joke in there with his hair. When you look at the Muppets from that perspective, they were never really all that PG, were they? No. And you got those uh, two dirty old men. They're always moaning about stuff. Yeah. Are they even wearing Fuzzy pants. Bear. And Fozzy Bear. Oh yeah. You know he's an edgy comic. <laughs> like, yeah. We just see we just see his family friendly material, but after dark. Yeah. Fuzzy he's like after Andrew, dark. He's like the Andrew Dice Clay of the, of the Muppet world. <laughs> Fuzzy after dark. The bear gets handsy. His catchphrase is, bear with me. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll never look at the Muppets the same way again.